Hey guys, um, welcome to another video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like forever, but um, I might start uploading more often again. I'm not sure. This video, I'm just gonna show you how to, or I'm go we're gonna rework the system of the Superpower Training Simulator game, cause this way is not very safe. Exploiters can easily exploit it. And it's very difficult to save or nearly impossible to save since data store service is only on server. So I guess first we're going to start off with the tools. So go into starter pack and get to your tool. Open up the local script for the tool. What you want to do is you want to highlight everything. And you want to copy it all. So once you copy the entire script you can close it. Now go to your tool, this, right now we're doing meditate, press on the plus, insert a regular script, as you can see it looks like this, there's no little character on it, we can rename if you want, now r get rid of the print hello world, and paste in the script we just copied, now in a local script you can't get the local player, so we're going to have to get the player a different way, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the parent of this script, so script.parent, which the parent is going to be the tool. And now the parent of the tool is starter pack, which starter pack is in the player. Now we want to get the parent of starter pack, which should be the player. So if we do dot parent one more time, this should be the player. But because once you equip the tool, the tool will be in the player's backpack we're going to have to do something different so we can get rid of this and we can do game get service so this is getting one of the services in the game and we're gonna get players now inside of players we want to find the specific player that's using the tool right now so we're gonna do wait for child and then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name so this is waiting for a child that's named this which this should be the player's name and it should be inside of the player service which is the same thing as this this right here is player service in explorer so now we have this script finish we can remove the local script so now let's go on to our punch tool. So in our punch tool, we can do practically the same thing. Copy your script. Press the plus on the plus on the punch tool. Insert a regular script, the one without the little player. Remove hello world. Paste in this script. And we can do the same script we did last time, replacing the local player and doing game get service players wait for child script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name which should get the player successfully hopefully possibly so that should be the punch tool done we can remove the local script in the punch tool make sure you keep the script there now finally the push-up tool what we can do is we can copy this once more insert another script by pressing the plus on the push-up tool and pressing script remove print hello world and pasting in this script we can remove game not player dot local player and we can once again do this script game get service players oh one second reopen the script wait for child script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name and then this should be our tools completed again once again get rid of the local script so let's test this out real quick let's press on the play button at the top let's go see if our stats get added so let's punch as you can see our strength is increasing every time we click let's try push up our endurance increase is fine and now let's try meditation there you go our psychic increases while we're meditating and doesn't while we're not all right so let's stop testing and now we should first 
rework the add yin or add your currency script as this is adding yin locally and we want it to add it through the server so press the plus on starter gui insert a script we can rename that script to add yin now in the add yin script the a local script version we can copy all the script inside of that let's go to our regular script remove hello world and let's paste in our script now this way we might have to get player differently so the parent of add yin is starter gui and starter gui is called player gui when it's in the player so we can get the parent which is starter gui and then the parent of starter gui will be the player so we can just do script.parent.parent .parent. now for testing purposes you don't have to do this i'm just going to show that it's working we can change this to two seconds so it'll increase quicker you may re do or remove the local script and start a gui now and let's test this out real quick all right as you can see our yen or our currency is increasing every two seconds we might not be able to increase our multiplier because it's being added differently so there you go that works I'm going to change the time to 30 seconds once again. All right, now we want to rework our multipliers. So in statistics shadow, we can go to our statistics and here we have all of our buttons. So first let's rework the endurance verify, go to our, click on endurance verify, go to our yes button, open that up and go open up the local script in the yes button. Now this is our script, it should be pretty simple to change. So let's copy everything in this script. And now we can close out of this script. In the yes button, press the plus and insert a regular script. Should be the one without the little player. And let's paste in our script here. Now to get player, it's a little bit more parents than the add yin script, but it's practically the same system script.parent should be the yes button dot parent should be the endurance verify page dot parent again will be statistic shadow dot parent once more is going to be the screen gui and then dot parent one more time is starter gui or player gui in the actual player and one final print parent should be the actual player so that's how we get player you might want to copy this so it'll be quicker for next time you can remove the local script in the yes button. Now let's move on to psychic verify. Open up that, open up the yes button there and open up the local script. You can copy everything in there. Go to your yes button in the psychic verify, press the plus and insert a script. Once again, paste the script in here. We can go to our other page, our other script and copy this but I'll type it out for you guys. We will do uh, replacing the local player part script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. I know it's a lot of parents, but um, it works. So this should be our psychic verify script. You can remove the local script inside of it, inside of the yes button. So now we've done endurance verify and psychic verify. Now we can do strength verify. So go to our yes button, open that up, copy our local script, copy, then add in, press the plus on the yes button and strength verify, add in a script, remove everything else, and paste this in. Now we're going to replace this line up here on the first line, script to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. And that should be that part. Now we can go back and remove our local script here. Now we should be done with that factor. And we should be done reworking the system. So let's give it a try. I'm going to change add yin to 2 seconds so I can test the multiplier. 
So let's launch our game here. This video might be shorter than the other episode, but this one's just to rework the system so we can make things work properly in the future. So as you can see, our currency is going up. We click and we get strength. We click with our push-up tool and we get endurance. We need 150 to upgrade our multiplier, so let's wait until we get there. Almost there. Now we have 150 currency. Let's upgrade our strength multiplier. Yes. As you can see, this price increased, our multiplier increased, and every time we click, we now get 2 strength. So as you can see, it was pretty simple to rework the system, but it's going to be necessary for the future as now it's less easy to exploit the game, if that makes sense, and it'll be easier to save values and properties and such like that. In the next video, I'll show you how to save the values, and just for now, go to game settings at the top. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but press game settings at the top, go to security and enable studio access to API services, and then save that. That'll just make it easier for us next time. Hope this video helped, and goodbye.